This is the <clears throat> Ugreen M.2 NVMe to PCIe 3.0 X4 adapter. I bought this adapter because I want to be able to install uh, an M.2 uh, older motherboards like the Z87 and older. Z87 chipset and older uh, hardware, older motherboards. Uh, so yeah, let's open it up, see what it looks like and uh, we'll check it out. So yeah, once I unboxed everything, uh, I've got the, the adapter right here. I have the back plate here that I'll have to screw it on here, onto the adapter. I got the screwdriver and a couple of screws. You get like a cable manage, to manage your cables of your computer, I guess, and a, a warranty card. And you get like a user manual. Of the adapter so uh, what I'm going to do next I'm going to be installing uh, the adapter into uh, a computer that I have and we'll check it out see how it performs and everything so that's what the adapter looks like with an M.2 with an NVMe M.2 assembled into it it's pretty straightforward all you have to do is to remove like this I had to remove two standoffs actually, this this one that was there, that one hole, and I had to remove this one too so I could uh, fit the uh, NVMe M.2 into that and just have to screw it back in. But anyway, I'm going to put that into a working machine that I have and uh, we'll test that out. See you soon. So the adapter worked right away, but it doesn't work outside the box if you're trying to use the adapter as a boot device, obviously. You will have to flash your BIOS in order to, uh, to, get the, to get the device recognized as an NVMe drive, because uh, if, you don't do, if you're, you're not going to do that, it's not going to be recognized by your BIOS. You have to modify your BIOS and... Uh, to flash it so uh, yeah I did I did that before so uh, obviously it's working right now so but if I didn't flash my BIOS it wouldn't work so uh, yeah it works here is the Windows OS that I yeah Windows 10 I had installed on it it's working beautifully it booted the right at the first time I didn't have to do anything because I already modified my BIOS prior to that so uh, yeah, I'll run some tests right now, but this is basically the Ugreen PCIe M.2 to uh, PCIe adapter. It's pretty, it's pretty cheap. It didn't cost me too much, maybe twelve dollars total. I don't know, but yeah, it's a great way to uh, install a M.2 NVMe into your uh, Z87 motherboard and older. Of course, it supports older as long as you modify your BIOS. As long as you get the BIOS to uh, like modify it and recognize NVMe drives, because I don't think it would work otherwise. I don't know how it will work with uh, SATA M.2 because I haven't had any SATA M.2. Quite frankly, I don't want any. So uh, yeah, but it, overall it works great. It works beautifully, and uh, this has pretty much been my video. I'm just gonna close this off at this point because there is no point of. Uh, showing my testing and speed, that doesn't matter really, I don't care about the speed of the drive, I just wanted to have a M.2 to take uh, the M.2 without taking any of my setup ports over there, so uh, yeah, I guess I found a great way to do that, so uh, this has uh, been my video about the this adapter, if you want to see more videos like that, check out my channel, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.